Blue Drive is back at Botts Park in Mount Sterling from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. on March 16th. Hope Hill is accepting donations of cleaning supplies. Kids 12 and under get a free ice cream sandwich from Dairy Queen. So come out and show your support and get your free T-shirt. Getting close to go time. In fact, Louisville right now, upstream, seeing precipitation right now. I'll update you on where we're at time-wise coming up. Now at 5.30, spring officially almost here. Winter weather still not done with us yet. We're going to be tracking that snow and how Lexington is getting prepared for the incoming storm. Plus, wait until you hear this story. A Jessamine County inmate's quick thinking and reaction probably saved the life of a deputy. And it's been two years since COVID-19 was declared a worldwide pandemic by the World Health Organization. Kentucky health experts now talking about what's ahead. ABC 36 News at 530 starts now. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome in on this Friday. I'm Tom Kenny. And I'm Erica Bivens. Thanks for joining us. We did have that nice taste of spring this week. Unfortunately, winter making a bit of a comeback here. Cold and snow headed our way, and we are tracking everything for you and how people are getting prepared for that winter weather. It is our top story team coverage today. We're going to check back in now with our chief meteorologist, Jeff Andrews. As you said, it's already snowing in Louisville and right now on our doorstep. <sighs> Abrupt, but if it was any slower, I mean, any kind of different time progression, is that going to make it better at the end? No, 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 no. Winter storm warning, that's for most of us. Tonight into tomorrow morning, the purple area, that's uh, further to the west. A winter weather advisory, maybe a little bit less snow, at least snow potential. All right, check this out. Lexington now, 47. We were mid-50s not that long ago. Louisville at 38. It hasn't quite registered as of yet. This hasn't caught up, obviously. All right, but you see further south, all right, a ways down the road here. They're going to get things a little later, still in the 60s. Look where we're headed tonight. When does the snow start for us? All right, when's it going to stick? I'll have all that coming up. Yes, yeah, a mere 40-plus temperature drop in a matter of hours. City of Lexington says it's ready for the storm. The mayor saying the salt barns are full. Road crews going to hit the streets at 8. Remember the girls' Sweet 16 at Rupp and the NCAA Division Three championships going on at Transylvania. So the city says special attention is going to be given to the downtown areas, and Lexington police will have extra patrols downtown. And the Office of Homelessness and Prevention activating its emergency weather response plan through Sunday morning. That means all emergency shelters expanding space, Outreach teams working to provide transportation to those who need it because it is going to be dangerously cold. And, of course, we'll be tracking that winter weather for you throughout this night here on ABC 36. Also, tomorrow morning, meteorologist Dylan Godet will be live starting at 8 a.m. And remember, you can always find the latest on weather all on our website, WTVQ.com, and also on our ABC 36 news app. An armed robbery suspect has been arrested after traveling across county lines. According to WRIL Radio in Bell County, the Knox County Sheriff and deputies responded to a store in Flatlick about two yesterday afternoon for a reported robbery. Deputies say the suspect robbed the store at gunpoint, took off with some cash, and during the investigation, deputies say that Lee Warren was identified as the suspect. Officers in Bell County pinged his phone which was shown that he, or showed rather, that he was in Pineville, which is in Bell County. Officers responded there. They found him, arrested him, and now he's charged. The work of a task force in Mount Sterling led to a drug trafficking arrest and seizure of pounds of marijuana. Mount Sterling police say in early February, the Gateway Area Drug Task Force got information on a large-scale pot trafficking operation that spanned several states. Police say the information led the task force to a person who was accused of trafficking huge amounts of marijuana, THC wax, disposable THC vape pens, and THC cartridges. On March 4th, that task force arrested Jordan Delotel of South Shore. That was in connection to that investigation. He's in custody and officially charged. There was a fiery crash this afternoon in Lexington, but police say, fortunately, no one appeared to be seriously injured. Police say it happened around 3 o'clock at Russell Cave Road and Hawthorne Lane. There were two vehicles involved. One of them caught on fire. Police say the driver was able to get out safely. Police say both drivers went to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. That road reopened just before 4.30. 
The Jessamine County Jailer says a deputy who's diabetic owes his life to the quick thinking of an inmate. According to the jailer, around noon Tuesday, a deputy was driving four inmates back when they had been picking up trash as part of a roadside litter program. That's when the jailer says the deputy's sugar level bottomed out and he passed out at the wheel. Inmate Terry Smallwood, who was in the passenger seat at the time, reached over to the other side of the vehicle to apply the brake. The jailer says he was able to park the car and then help the deputy until first responders could get there. The jailer says Smallwood's actions stopped a chain of events from a car accident to a deputy going into a possible diabetic coma. The jailer is thanking Smallwood for his heroic actions, saying he saved lives. Today, Winchester police given a donation that's going to help the canine stay safe. In honor, in honor rather, of Canine Veterans Day, which is March 13th, Stuff Recycling donating $900 to the Winchester Police Department's Canine Unit. It's going to be used to buy essential technology that will alert officers anytime patrol vehicles reach temperatures that are unsafe for the canine inside. Winchester's Canine Unit, made up of Officer Kelly Webster and Canine Officer Crockett, the department says that donation that was made today will be vital, vital for canine officer Crockett's well-being, could prevent a potential tragedy if he's ever left inside the vehicle for too long. Still ahead, the latest on COVID-19 in Lexington. And it's now been two years since a worldwide pandemic was declared. We'll hear from two Central Kentucky health experts telling us what's next. Heading down. All right, here's where we're at right now. Here's where we're headed. I'll show you when the snow is likely to start, where first, where last. That's coming up. The new season of Idol is getting mad respect. And Sunday, one audition will make tears flow. You were born enough. American Idol, new Sunday on ABC and stream on Hulu. For my daughter's wedding. For my high school reunion. For me. To look and feel your best, get started on a cool sculpting journey with a certified cool sculpting specialist at Belle V. Our skincare specialists take your body seriously while delivering serious results. Belle V, Lexington's first and only SkinCeuticals flagship store. Talk to a transformation specialist at Belle V today. Now open at the Summit at Fritz Farm. This past year has highlighted the strength of Community Action Council. Every day, our staff works together to help families recover from this crisis. We're educating children at home and in person, helping parents who have lost their jobs, and helping households avoid eviction. Our work at Community Action Council has never been more important than it is right now. So why don't you join us? We have employment opportunities requiring a range of skills. Apply online at comaction.org. I'm Mandy Williamson, host of mom to mom As a mom, we just want our kids to get along. We would love for our kids to be helpful around the house. And we want our kids to eat healthy. Basically, we want to manage the chaos and still make time for ourselves. But momming is hard, so I'm here to share some great tips with you to make it easier. So join me each week for mom to mom <laughs> Brought to you by Hits 106.3. Did you just toot on me? <laughs> The Solid Blue Drive-Thru is at Bots Park in Mount Sterling from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. on March 16th. Hope Hill is accepting donations of cleaning supplies, so show your support and get your free t-shirt. The winter storm warning ahead tonight for most of us. And those not included in that treat, winter weather advisory. Tonight, into the better part of tomorrow, some spots southeastern Kentucky really later in the day before things definitely, uh, I want to say chill. That's probably not the right word. All right, cold front's roughly here. See the precipitation behind it. Temperature's already on the way down, thanks to Canada, uh, the uh, North Pole. Uh, that's where it's all coming from, really. It's nothing warmer really comes out of there. 51 right now. All right, the wind's northwest at 16 miles an hour. The wet snow after dark. Sticking on the roadways later on tonight. Now, the surface, the air, everything is a little warmer, okay? So it's going to take a bit, but the pacing of that snow is going to overcome the warmth, and things are going to stick later on. The bitter cold winds, we're going to have the wind chills, really 
later on tonight and through the better part of the weekend into the first part of Sunday. And here's where, where things look as we get towards uh, 8 o'clock hour tonight. Most of us still dry at this point, but things starting to work their way in. Spotty rain. It's really about to snow, though. As far as getting a lot of rain and changing it over to snow, it's, it's primarily going to be wet snow, I think, for most of us through the first half of this whole thing. After midnight, you see snow widespread across the area. The heavier bands likely south, uh, east, southeastern Kentucky. All right, here's tomorrow morning. Cloudy skies, still some stray snow showers, 8, 9 a.m. Probably have a little bit of sun tomorrow afternoon, but you know, really not much good out of that. Might help as far as the roadways. Right, as we roll through the night, snow, snow times here. All right, transition times. All right, you see Lexington, Richmond, 9, 10, probably closer to 11 o'clock tonight. Then you see the band here, 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. Southeastern Kentucky. Well after the midnight hour and at about 3 a.m. Snowfall totals, this band here, roughly about 2 to 4 inches of snow. They're going to be pockets heavier, pockets lighter, but this is a good guide to go by. 4 to 6 in the blue, and then you see this area here, 5 to 8 inches of snow potential. Through the course of the night, better part of tomorrow morning. 19 tonight, windy. Northwest winds, 10 to 20 miles an hour. Those gusts upwards of 30 miles an hour. Wind chills when you start the day tomorrow, it's going to feel like 0 to 5 above. Cold. All right, best part of the day, maybe 28. It'll feel like about 10 to 15. Better on Sunday, but it's going to take a bit as we get into Sunday. But 45 for the high. Probably about 40 by the uh, middle part of the day. On Monday, mostly sunny, high of 58. And as we get into Tuesday, Wednesday, look at that. All right, that's what we want to see, sunshine, warmer temperatures. With my hepatitis C, I felt I couldn't be at my best for my family. In only eight weeks with Maverick, I was cured. I faced reminders of my hep C every day. I worried about my hep C. But, but in only, only eight weeks, weeks with Maverick, Maverick I, I was cured. cured. Maverick is the only eight-week cure for all types of hep C. Before starting Maverick, your doctor will test if you've had hepatitis B, which may flare up and cause serious liver problems during and after treatment. Tell your doctor if you've had hepatitis B, a liver or kidney transplant, other liver problems, HIV-1, or other medical conditions, and all medicines you take. Don't take Maverick with anazanavir or rifampin, or if you've had certain liver problems. If you've had or have serious liver problems other than hep C, there's a rare chance they may worsen. Signs of serious liver problems may include yellowing of the skin, abdominal pain or swelling, confusion, and unexplained bleeding or bruising. Tell your doctor if you develop symptoms of liver disease. Common side effects include headache and tiredness. With hep C behind me, I feel free. Fearless. Because I am cured. Talk to your doctor about Maverick. Learn how AbbVie can help you save. Lazy Boy knows that you're not home until your home looks like, well, you. Or me. That's why everything comes in a variety of styles, from traditional to modern to everything in between. As I was saying, no matter what inspires you, you'll find everything you need to make yourself at home at Lazy, Lazy Boy. Boy. Well, at least we agree on that. The St. Patrick's Day sale. Save up to 30% off store wide. Lazy Boy. Live life comfortably. I was sitting at a red light, and this guy's looking at his phone instead of where he's going. Bam! He rear-ends me. I need a lawyer, and I need one who thinks my case is important, not another file in the pile. I called the Kentucky Courage Lawyers at 855 Wildcat, and they got me a settlement even better than I had hoped. After a car or a big truck wreck, call the lawyers with Kentucky Courage. Call 855 Wildcat, Morgan Collins, Yeast and Salyer. What you're doing is not just hurting you. If you can't make up your mind to quit for yourself, do it for those who love you. For free help, call 1-800-QUIT-NOW. You're watching ABC 36 News at 530. It has been two trying years since the World Health Organization declared COVID-19 a global pandemic. Kentucky, you may recall, saw its first confirmed case in Harrison County, March 6th, 2020. ABC 36's Annie Brown caught up with some health experts today about the impact the virus continues to make in our lives and also what lies ahead. After two years, right, you know, we know what COVID-19 is, we know what the virus is, um, and it will become more of a flu-like uh, disease as we as a, as a society have adapted to it. Wild Labs Director Dr. A. Taylor Bright says while there may be a light at the end of the tunnel, COVID-19 will likely always be a part of our lives. 
And he says we need to remember what we've learned, which is maintaining infrastructure both on the research side, but also from a public health perspective, knowing we all share a responsibility. To everyone who has struggled or maybe lost someone in these last few years, to not, uh, uh, to not forget the lessons that have learned, including uh, maintaining the infrastructure that we've built uh, to keep ourselves safe and our community safe in the future. With every variant, even highly transmissible ones, Dr. Bright says he feels confident we're prepared to take it on. At this point, it, it shouldn't scare us in so far as we've seen many variants. Obviously, Delta and Omicron are the, are the two predominant ones. Um, and if it is to arrive and, and be another issue, it will look similar to what we've seen in the past, and therefore we will have to respond similarly. As people return to a sense of normalcy, UK professor of psychology Dr. Matthew Southward says there may be new challenges, like increased social anxiety. For people who have been wearing masks more consistently during the pandemic, uh, taking those masks off in public spaces will feel awkward or will feel anxiety provoking, especially at first, um, or being around a crowd is probably going to be more anxiety provoking, at least for, you know, the next six to 12 months, I would imagine. Dr. Southward says ultimately it's all about being patient with ourselves as we adjust. In Lexington, Annie Brown, ABC 36 News. All right, Andy, thank you. Let's take a look at the COVID-19 numbers in Lexington two years into this pandemic. The health department reported 63 new cases, the seven-day average of new cases a day. Remember, there was a time where we were up in the hundreds, thousands even. Now it's down to 44. Again, that's the average number of new cases per day. The health department also reported five new COVID-19-related deaths. Four were from February, one from this month. According to the health department, the death toll since the pandemic hit is now 572. The man accused of driving into a Christmas parade and killing six people heads to court. And President Biden with an announcement on whether or not the U.S. plans to send ground troops to Ukraine. You're invited to come be our guest this Sunday at Southland. For service times and campus locations, head over to our website at southland.church. Patient Choice Ultrasound Thermography, this is Kim. How may I help you? Hi, my doctor just ordered a gallbladder ultrasound. An echocardiogram. A venous Doppler. I'm pretty nervous. I don't know what to expect. Well, I'm scheduled at the hospital, but the price is so high. You are cash-based? That price includes everything? Yeah, I've got this crazy high deductible, so a reduced cash price sounds perfect. You can get me in? Yes, I've got an order. I'm coming to Patient Choice. Patient Choice is my choice. Now I've got a choice in Patient Choice. LexRecordingSchool.com What does a Broadway production in New York City have in common with the evening news on a Lexington, Kentucky TV station? Both have dozens of specialists working behind the scenes to produce a successful show. Behind the scenes jobs like these are available all over America. Lexington School for Recording Arts can put you on the path to a successful career in the AVT industry. LexRecordingSchool.com We love our new apartment. Great kitchen, open floor plan. But there's not much privacy. <laughs> what happened to your wall? At least Geico makes bundling our renters and car insurance easy. Does save us a ton. Hmm. What's on this chicken? Paprika. <laughs> Paprika! <laughs> I made it at home. It's my catchphrase. For bundling made easy, go to geico.com. Are your windows drafty, broken, or your energy bills on the rise? Champion is here to help. It's replacement window season, and we're celebrating with buy two windows, get two free. At Champion, we design new windows specific to your home's needs. Then they are built in our very own factory, installed by a team of professionals, and guaranteed for a lifetime by our best-in-class warranty. Right now, buy two windows, get two free. Call or go online to book your free estimate at getchampionwindows.com. You're watching ABC 36 News at 530. 
No change in the United States' pledge. America will not be sending any ground troops into Ukraine. During House Democrats' legislative retreat in Philadelphia, President Biden saying the U.S. is fully behind its NATO allies, promising to defend, quote, every inch of NATO territory as Russia continues its attacks in the region. But he made it very clear the U.S. will, quote, not fight the Third World War in Ukraine. We're showing the strength and we'll never falter. But look, the idea, the idea that we're going to send in offensive equipment and have planes and tanks and trains uh, going in with American pilots and American crews, just understand and uh, don't kid yourself no matter what you all say. That's called World War III, okay? Now, President Biden did say the U.S. will make sure Ukraine has the weapons it needs to defend itself, along with money, help with food, and open arms for refugees if they choose to come here. In Wisconsin, the man accused of killing six people at a 2021 parade in Waukesha will head to trial this October. 39-year-old Daryl Brooks Jr. was in court today where the judge expressed some concerns over a potential conflict of interest, stating she had previously texted one of the victim's parents, expressing her condolences. Brooks previously pled not guilty to 77 charges against him, including homicide and reckless endangerment. Six people were killed, more than 60 others injured that day. Police say Brooks drove an SUV through a crowd at a Christmas parade last November. The lead investigator in the case previously testified Brooks zigzagged his SUV through the crowd, appearing to be aiming for people. Brooks is expected back in court March 29th. Still ahead, an athleisure brand is stepping into the shoe business. We don't have to tell you gas prices are high. Some Americans are considering changing their driving habits as a result. We took our signature sandwich and pumped up the base. With bacon and cheese, it's the new signature club. Remixed by Zaxby's. Okay, dazzle us. Introducing the $2 million Diamond Dazzler. The new scratch-off game that will dazzle you with more prizes and more ways to win than any $30 ticket from the Kentucky Lottery. Free is our favorite word. Like buy one, get one free. Two treadmills. At Morgan & Morgan, our fee is free. You don't pay anything unless we win your case. Injured? Call Morgan & Morgan. ForThePeople.com. Let's go! Your career should have meaning. And at Sayre Christian Village, it does. Fayette County's only nonprofit senior living community is immediately hiring for a variety of career opportunities. With an expansive campus like Sayre Christian Village, there are many different positions and shifts available to meet your career path. Plus, Sayre Christian Village's diverse staff receives competitive compensation, benefits, training, and development opportunities. Apply at SayreChristianVillage.org and set up a virtual interview today. This past year has highlighted the strength of Community Action Council. Every day, our staff works together to help families recover from this crisis. We're educating children at home and in person, helping parents who have lost their jobs, and helping households avoid eviction. Our work at Community Action Council has never been more important than it is right now. So why don't you join us? We have employment opportunities requiring a range of skills. Apply online at comaction.org. We took our signature sandwich and cranked it up to 11. With bacon and cheese, it's the new signature club. Remixed by Zaxby's. You may have to win the lottery to fill up with gas. Yeah. Sticker shock at the pump. It has a lot of people planning to make some changes. Sure does. A survey out by AAA revealed with the cost of gas at least $4 a gallon across the country, 60% of Americans say they'll change their driving and lifestyle habits. Now, 80% of all drivers surveyed said they would drive less to save on fuel. And a third of adult drivers under the age of 35 said they would be open to carpooling. 68% of drivers over the age of 35 said they would rather save by combining errands. And 53% of older Americans said they would cut back on things like shopping or dining out just to be able to save money for gas. 
Speaking of prices of things, prices on just about everything kept going up in the United States last month, pushing a key inflation measure to its highest level in 40 years. The government reports the consumer price index went up 7.9 percent for the 12 months ending in February. Now, the figure is not adjusted for seasonal swings. That's up from January's annual pace of 7.5 percent. Inflation has now reached that new 40-year high for four months in a row. Gas, food, housing prices, which are necessary rather than discretionary spending, drove the February price increases. Gas prices, in fact, alone contributed nearly a third of the overall inflation increase. Those numbers have been spiking since Russia invaded Ukraine. That happened on February 24th. The upscale athleisure company Lululemon taking its first step into the shoe business, announcing it plans to release a new running shoe called Bliss Feel. This is the first shoe that Lululemon has released. The sneaker cost $148, comes in 10 colors. The company says the new shoe will be available for purchase starting March 22nd in select stores across North America, the UK and China, as well as online. Lululemon says a different line of footwear for men, that's due out next year. Delta Airlines expanding its in-flight menu to give travelers who don't eat meat more options. The airline announcing this week it's adding five vegetarian and plant-based items to its main menu. The new meal choices include the Impossible Burger, it's called, plant-based meatballs, and cauliflower cakes. The change means vegetarians no longer have to order ahead in order to get a special meal. Delta says the new menu items are going to be available on flights this month, around the same time the carrier plans to reintroduce hot meals to more customers. And if you hit an unexpected pocket of turbulence, you'll be eating it off the ceiling, <laughs> no matter what it is. Uh, stay with us. We've got to look at your top stories coming up. And Jeff's back with that forecast, when the snow's coming and how cold it's expected to get.